Good morning, it is day 125 and I'm back on trail again. Um, my hip flexor is not quite healed, it's not right yet, but it's time to be moving on anyway. So today's objective is to wander around the lake shore here, all the way around uh, out to at least uh, Glendu Bay, south in that direction. And here is that Wanaka tree. I'm lucky enough to be able to get a few minutes with it without hordes of tourists here. Today is a day that I've been anticipating for a long, long time uh, because today is the day that I'll walk around the base of Mount Coromandel. And Mount Coromandel is where I had my paraglider crash, uh, landed heavily and broke 22 bones, my leg, 15 ribs, sternum and 5 vertebrae. I had a punctured lung and a really bad concussion. So um, as a result of all of that, um, I had total traumatic amnesia for the event. I don't remember anything from the day before the event until about a week afterwards. And so uh, today I'm going to arrive at that crash scene and look up at it and see it effectively for the first time. And I really don't know how I feel about that. Uh, it could be a really um, traumatic experience. It might be therapeutic. I might look at it and get a bit of closure. Or it might be nothing at all. I might just look up at it and say, eh, it's a hill. Um, I don't know. So um, uh, I'm not sure how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, sort of anticipating something but I don't know what I'm anticipating at the moment so we will have to wait and see well this is it I think uh, as best as I can make out this is roughly the scene of my accident it was somewhere up there and I'm looking up at it and thinking jeez is that steep how the hell did I survive that Apparently I crashed high up there somewhere and then uh, tumbled down the face of the, the hill off those cliffs and things and ended up in a crumpled mess somewhere on that face. But I have no, no recollection of the event still. Nothing looking at that sort of triggers any, any memories whatsoever so it's kind of hard to um, associate any emotion with it because it's just secondhand news that uh, somebody told me about. I don't remember the event at all, so uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I've just uh, overanalyzed it. I've thought about this moment for so long, thinking, wondering what it would feel like to look up at that and uh, thought it to death. So. Uh, Maybe there's no emotion left, but uh, uh, I'm just looking at that and seeing a hill and a story that uh, somebody told me about. So I'm sitting at uh, Glendu Campground um, having some lunch and of course got some decisions to make. So it's only one o'clock. Um, do I stop here and uh, camp at the campground? Or do I carry on to the Bernadoon Hut? So, about three and a half hours, I think, of relatively easy going to get to the Fern Burn. Um, so, I think I'll do that. Alright, here we go up the Mototepe Valley. Queenstown's just on the other side, it's not far really. And a few days and a few ups and downs. I'm out on the uh, Mototepe track now and uh, it's nice, it's, it's really good to be out here and uh, alone on single track, uh, no 
cyclists around and the tourists and it's just me and it feels really refreshing I'm enjoying this Hey, here it is. Boom Boom Hut. Alright, I made it to Fern Burn Hut, so uh, that was a lot more than I was expecting uh, to get out of today. So um, it was hard work. Um, first part was pretty flat. I mean, from Monaco through to Glendu, it was, was um, just cycle trail. So that, that was pretty easy going. So I was feeling pretty good then. And then that convinced me to carry on up here. So. This track just progressively got harder and harder and steeper and, and uh, rougher as, as it went on. But um, but I got here and uh, so it's a good 25 k's for today and um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Good morning and it is day 126 and I'm just leaving Fernburn Hut. I would like to get to Rose's Hut if I can. Uh, it's only 16k, so it sounds pretty simple. There's only one little obstacle, and that is 1500 meters of vertical ascent and 1500 meters of vertical descent. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough day. All right, time for the fleece to come off already. It's getting hot, even though the sun isn't even up. It's a decent climb. I just noticed. You can see Lake Wanaka now, down the far end of the valley. This track is the scene of a uh, trail running race each year. So uh, uh, somebody has been through here with a weed whacker and cleaned back the track. And they've even chopped back all the Spaniard. Oh, how good is that? I made it to Jack Hall Saddle. That's the first big climb done today. That's where I came from, way down in the valley there somewhere, I can't see the hut anymore. And uh, this is where I'm going next. You might not be able to see it, but this track just follows this knife edge ridge all the way down to the bottom. I hope my balance is up to that. Don't want to fall off. Made it down the big descent behind me. Whew. That was hard. I'm pleased that there's no wind today because uh, some of those ridges would have been interesting in, in a go. Oh, boy. I'm going to check into a clinic in Queenstown and get some new knees when I get there. That was relentless. Alright, I think Highland Creek is just behind that first ridge down there. Highland Creek Hut, it's a mirror image of um, Fern Burn Hut, very nice. Well, I'm having an early lunch, um, and while I sit and contemplate what, what to do next, I mean that last section, science, the doc sign said uh, four to five hours, I did it on three and a half, so it was pretty good going, but the next section through the roses is uh, what was it, seven to eight hours? Yeah, so maybe I can do that in six. Um, it's quarter past 11 now. It's going to be a fairly late day, and I'm not sure whether or not my body is up to it. So uh, I'll sit and contemplate that and see how I feel after some food, and then make a decision. All right, with the help of chocolate biscuits, I've made my decision. I'm going to press on and see if I can get to Rose's hut. I don't think it's going to be seven to eight hours. I think it's going to be more likely five to six. So, um, yeah, if there's enough time in the day to do that, then the body's feeling good. Made it to the top of the second climb for, for the day. So this is the valley I've just come up down here, right from the depths of that bottom of that valley. That uh, pass up there in the middle of the screen is the pass that I came over this morning and dropped down to the hut. And this is where I'm going next. So I'm going to sidle around here, then drop down to the bottom of this valley, and then climb back up to that ridge again and over 
ridge and drop down to that. I think I'll keep mine for now. Looking on top of the ridge now and looking down into the Mototapi Valley, I think it is. I think Rose's hut is down there somewhere. I just got down from the uh, second climb and descent and there's a lovely little stream here. I can get a drink and a little log so I can sit down and have my second lunch. Just straight on up. Keep on going till you get to the top. Try to go straight up this fence line to the peak. I can see my mission for tomorrow ahead of me. Straight up that ridge in the middle of the shot. All the way up to the saddle and down the other side. I'm on the, uh, the final walk up to Rose's hut now and uh, boy am I happy. <laughs> I, I'm happy as Larry. It's like today has been awesome. It's, uh, it's been hard. My god it's been hard. It's been uh, as hard as any day I've had on the TA. It's uh, only 16 k's on the map, but 1500 meters up and down over three big climbs. It was just hard. And uh, given my injuries and stuff, I am very, very pleased with myself for uh, being able to do this. So I'm very, very happy. Uh, and a thought occurred to me as well that uh, there's nothing harder than this between here and Bluff. So, barring injuries or accidents, there's nothing stopping me from completing this thing. I can go all the way and I can do it. I can complete this thing. Very, very happy about that. What an awesome day. Here's Rose's hut. I am going to celebrate by eating all of the snacks I can spare and then having two dinners. Good morning. I've just left uh, Rose's hut. Uh, it's day uh, 127 and uh, there's a bit of a crowd in there last night, the five other people, so. Uh, but that was all good, it was good to have some company. So today I'm heading up this ridge, up over the saddle, down to Mastown, and then hopefully on to uh, Aratan. If, if uh, timing is going well and the body's feeling good, then uh, I'll get back into civilization today. It's been nice out here in the wilderness and uh, I've really enjoyed the Mototapu track. Ah, going well up this track. It's uh, it's a nice track, easy to walk on, not too steep, uh, so it's good. But uh, complete whiteout now, in amongst the clouds. So um, yeah, there aren't going to be any views from the top. Okay, here's Rose's saddle. Completed the first big climb for today, and here is the view down into the Arrow River. Sorry about that. As you can see, I've dropped down below the level of the clouds now, and now we can see some views. And here is the Arrow River. Now I'm down to the Arrow River, and here I have a choice. Low water route or high water route. So, low water route is basically in the river with four k's all the way down to Mastown, and high water route uh, goes up and down over the hills and through the river a couple of times. So, the river, the water is low, so I could take the low water route, 
at slightly quicker I think but um, I think I'm gonna take the high water route because um, if I take the low water route then I got my feet wet for a couple of hours probably and now I'm gonna turn into blocks of ice so I think I will head up this way and do the high water route and here is Mace Town, I think, in amongst the trees there. Can't see anything at the moment, but uh, we'll get there shortly. So this is the metropolis of Mace Town, population zero. Uh, this was a uh, uh, settlement uh, in the Gold Rush era, and it would have been a bustling place at, in that, those days, but. Uh, now it is just a handful of relics of a bygone era. Alright, definitely time for a rest now. I haven't been off my feet since I left Rose's hut, so uh, yeah. Lunch time and then uh, have a rest and then carry on. I'm leaving the four wheel drive track from Mace Town now and heading up this way, a big hill track. We could settle two hours, Arrow Town three hours, 40 minutes. We'll see if that works out. The hill I'm climbing here is actually named Big Hill. Yeah, very imaginative, but very accurate. Ah, ah, big hill saddle. Yes, look at that. Woo. Here's the first sight of Arrowtown and Lake Hayes in the background, and a little bit of Queenstown behind that. Getting close now. to Aerotown now and here is the very picturesque town of Aerotown well uh, lashed out on a, on a room because I'm naked I can't do another step and uh, I couldn't put up my tent if I needed to, so naked. That was a big day, uh, another 10 hours. Um, yeah, they don't get easier, do they? As time goes by, so just keep pushing myself. Hopefully, over the next couple of days, I have some easy days. Uh, and then a few days off in, in Queenstown, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Good morning, it is day 128 and just leaving my accommodation for the night and uh, today I'll be heading to Frankton in Queenstown which is I think something like 20, 21 k's or so and uh, I was thinking last night when I arrived that God I don't know if I can do another 20 k day just at the moment but uh, right now after a night's sleep I feel much better so here we go. Um, once I get to Franklin, I will probably get a bus into central uh, Queensta uh, Queenstown and stay there the night. Um, just because there's no accommodation at, at Franklin. And uh, I don't think I'll make it uh, on foot all the way into Queenstown. So, um, so I'll get the bus and then get the bus back again in the morning to finish it off. So I think uh, today is going to be mostly sort of urban walking or um, sort of just on the fringe of the, of the towns um, and uh, mostly flat so should be fairly easy going I think. and I'm just going to take a nice slow stroll and uh, take my time hopefully I will get to Frankton before the shops close because I need to uh, uh, replace some gear so lots of stuff so it's going to be a big spend up today 
uh, and replacing some stuff which is long overdue for replacement. So I'm looking forward to that. Alright, I'm entering Millbrook Resort now. I wonder if I've got time for a game of golf while I'm here. coming through a light industrial area of Queenstown and uh, I quite like this. It's, it's, it just reminds you that uh, this trail is not just a tramping track out in the wilderness, it's actually a journey through the country you know? and uh, it takes in everything that there is in this country, be it uh, industrial areas like this or uh, mountain tops and wilderness uh, so uh, this is a nice contrast to uh, the previous few days all right i've uh, done my shopping and uh, got all my replacement gear so now i'm just gonna hop on the bus into queenstown central and stay there the night because uh, there's no accommodation here so um, yeah, I'll be back out here again tomorrow. Good morning. It is day 129 and I'm here at the bus stop. Uh, being a good uh, EFI hiker, I am going to jump on the bus back out to Frankton and um, then walk back into town. So then I will be able to call my uh, trek uh, complete as far as Queenstown. So um, yeah, that's the mission for today. hiker I have finished uh, the section into Queenstown so I've closed that gap and um, I am now officially at the end of the trail again so this is the the last place on the trail where there's a discontinuity in it because the trail starts again on the other side of Lake Bokotibu so you either have to get across the lake or around the lake and the road around the lake is dangerous and, and lots of traffic so it's too dangerous to walk on so I have to organise transport to get around to the far side. Um, so I'll have some a few days rest here and organise some transport and I'll be starting again from the other side of the lake. <laughs> 